Happy Chinese New Year! Let's welcome in the year of the black water tiger. What do we need to know about this upcoming year? Well, we're going to divide up the element, the animal, talk about both, and see what's in store for all of us. I am a black water tiger. Every 60 years in Chinese astrology, you come back to the same element and the same animal. That's a really special year. When you turn 60, this is my year. So I can tell you a thing or two about black water tigers. First of all, let's talk about the water element. In Chinese astrology, this is connected to the aspect of fluidity, something that is malleable something that can change form, can change from a liquid to a solid to a gas. So it's very mutable and changeable. We've been in two metal years in Chinese astrology, rigidity, precision, intellect, you know, dogmatic truths and debates, a lot of mental energy. We're about to move into the heart. We are now energetically diving deep into the water and the tiger is going to make it so. Tigers are the only cat of all the cat kingdom that actually are at home in the water. They love it. They love swimming. So what a powerful beast to dive right in fearlessly to this great collective subconscious energy of emotion. We've been carrying around a lot of emotional baggage. This year, that tiger is going to help us dive in, bring it up to the surface, wrestle it, and eventually heal it and integrate it. We will have the courage. We will have the ferocity to focus and mobilize our energy in that way this year. Wow. <laughs> Part of what's going to lead us, the element of water as well, is our intuition is going to be so strong. I'm a water tiger. I have strong intuition. This year, no matter where you are, you can tap into an intuitive power like never before. And, you know, we can use that intuitive power to help us bring revelation and revolution through those revelations. It's also the energy, as water always is, of course, of healing and cleansing. So everything that's brought to the surface this year, we have the opportunity to cleanse it, to purify it, to remold it into something new. In Chinese astrology, the element of water is also connected with our ancestors. So this was a great year to work on healing within your ancestral lineage. And finally, you know, the element of water is connected with the ancients in Chinese astrology. So we may also be learning more about our ancient origins and the ancient history of our planet. New revelations may come to the surface regarding that in the next couple of years. Let's share a little bit about the tiger now. Well, we all know tigers are pretty dynamic. They're bold. They're a force of reckoning. They're passionate. They're purposeful. All of those attributes, you can engage and feel motivated by this year. You may all feel a sudden shift in your energy right around this time. Like, wow, where did that come from? Um, from feeling kind of stuck and uncertain and really confused mentally, it's like suddenly there's this clarity and this desire to just move forward using our intuition and aligning with a more purposeful, passionate connection of our true selves. Now, tigers, literal tigers, they have 
huge territory. They're one of the cats that has uh, the largest territory. So what I also feel about this year is that we're going to be expanding our, our territory, literally. So I'm encouraged to imagine that travel restrictions are going to be easing up and we're going to be able to begin to expand out into larger territories. But even if we're not crossing national borders within our own um, regional territory, we may want to do some travel. And this is really going to help open up that energy, that constrained, restricted feeling that we've been struggling with. Uh, it just feels like throwing off those shackles and getting out there in the world. Also getting on the earth. So a great year for camping. Um, you know, for the, the tiger is very sensual. It loves rolling around in the earth. It loves swimming. So anything out in nature, walking with your bare feet on the ground, swimming, uh, you know, camping, hiking, all of those kinds of things. This is going to be a really great year to engage in that way and really feel your connection to the earth uh, realigning. Tigers are known as solitary creatures, both the literal tigers and the astrological tigers. However, they make incredible parents. They're very devoted to their young, and they're also very devoted to their partners. So this year may not see us quite as motivated to have large social networks or interactions or do a lot of um, interpersonal engaging with friends. It may be a year where we feel the need to have more alone time and also some really restorative, healing, intimate time with partners and with our family members. Saying that, I do believe that that sense of expanding our networks is still critical this year. It's still very, very important. Um, but in terms of the intimacy, it feels like we are focused on our own uh, developing aspects of our solitary nature and our degree of comfort with ourselves, spending time alone with ourselves. So this would be a great year to focus on meditation practice, to have solitary retreats, for example. Tigers are very playful. And I got a sense when I was just intuiting about this year that humor is going to play a vital role. You know, we're looking at all this subconscious healing work. We're looking at all this passion and it may become a little bit volatile. It may become dramatic at points. So it feels important to have a release valve of humor and playfulness and spontaneity. So on those journeys and trips that you're planning, it's important to keep the element of spontaneity, adventure, freedom, um, you know, not having your itinerary totally blocked out every, every moment, but leaving a lot of space for spontaneity and playfulness. So pulling all those aspects together, this year looks like it's going to be extraordinary and very healing and supportive for all of us. I wish you all the best and I encourage you to really embrace your inner tiger this year. I've been practicing my roar and it's not very good, but here we go. Roar! <laughs> Have a wonderful year. Many blessings.